Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies, and today we're looking at one of the three new bows from Elite Archery for 2024, the Elite Allure. It's designed for women, basically. It's a smaller axle, axle, axle bow, 31 inches, but it's lighter, at four pounds. Um, draw length is shorter, um, 23 to, to 28.5, axle, axle. It's got a new box, a little carry handle, so I think that's new for Elite. A um, little sticker on the end to tell you what the bow is. So when I saw this bow, it was a bit interesting to me because I was like, well, Elite's already got a good ladies bow, the Elite Ember. One of my biggest selling bows, the Elite Ember. And when I say a ladies bow, it's basically designed for someone looking for a light bow with a shorter draw length. So that can be older men, people who don't want high poundage, people who are not as strong, can be teenagers. That's the market, right? So, but basically it's a more specialized ladies bow, okay? So, um, the Elite Lure, twice the price to the Ember, so it's a top-end bow. So then I got thinking, well, how does this compare to other bows in the marketplace? Who else has a specific ladies' bow? Bowtech had one called the Gen, Gen 3 for Eva Shockey, so Eva Shockey bow. Axle axle, 28 inches, uh, weight 3.9, brace height 6.1, and IBO 328. Uh, Matthews have, has the Primer. Um, axle axle 30 inches, the weight's 3.9, brace height 5.5, and speed of 320. So therefore, from those statistics, you see the Elite has got the bigger axle axle, um, basically the same weight, bigger brace height, so it's going to be more forgiving than the other two bows, and a higher speed, which is a bit weird given that it's got such a larger brace height than the other bows, especially the Matthews, which is 5.5, which is a really short brace height and only 320 feet per second. So from that, you're going to assume that this has got a more aggressive draw cycle than the Bowtech, um, the Shockey Bow, and the Matthews Prima. So let's open it up and sort of see. Okay, so the first thing is, this holds the cams. This is very much, so it comes like this. This is very much how Bear pack their bows. Um, Plastic, interesting, there's no, uh, Elite normally puts plastic over their limbs, their cams, but because these are held in cardboard, they haven't. But they've still put bubble wrap around here, bubble wrap around here, bubble wrap around here. Um, comes with a hat. Pretty plain Jane, average hat, no disrespect to Elite, but it's a pretty average hat. Um, some companies don't have hats. Um, hats are a thing for some people. Um, so graphics on the limbs, the lure look, they look fine. Now, one of my customers is an older gentleman. I've got many older gentlemen who are, cu who are customers, but I've got a specific older gentleman who's a customer. And he wanted a bow which was physically lighter. So he just went out and brought a Hoyt RX-7. I think it's an Ultra. Um, now I was checking the specs on that, um, basically the same weight as this, it's a carbon bow. So carbon bows are going to be in the realms for people wanting lighter bows. But they're going to be more expensive than this, and more expensive than the Eva Shockey and the Matthews Prima. The carbon bows are more expensive. The other thing with carbon bows is the draw lengths tend not to be as short. So they're more built for people wanting to go hunting, and built for the, um, the longer draw lengths. This is built for the shorter draw lengths. So, the cam, the cam, um, cam looks like a verdict. It looks like a smaller version of the verdict. It's got a cable stop there, and you can fit a limb stop there to it. So you can change the whole feel of this boat. You can change the draw length by, you know, I'm going to say an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. Um, with a rotating module, two screws, you don't need a bow press, you don't need a bow press to adjust the cable stop. So you can change the let, draw, the let off down to anything you want. You can make it as solid as you want from either going from a cable stop or to a limb stop or activating both depending on how you want the bow to feel. Okay, this bow has the um, technology for tuning which is basically pivoting the limbs similar to what Bowtech has where you uh, move the cam left to right 
if we're going to compare Matthews, you need to shim the cams. So you need to bow press, drop the cams out, and fit a um, shim kip into the wheels to tune a Matthews and a Hoyt. So if you're looking at the RX-7 as, as a bow compared to this. Um, the grip and the balance. So I'm going to say Elite. I really like the Elite bows. And I'm not saying that because I'm an Elite dealer, although I am an Elite dealer. I love the adjustability. Love adjustability. So you can change the bow to, to suit anyone. And yes, this bow goes from 23 to 28.5 but I still love adjustability. So you can make a bow feel the way you want the bow to feel. I love that. I love the tunability. You don't need a bow press, just a little move on here and you can tune the bow, take seconds. Love the adjustable draw stops, love that. Love that it's got cable stops and limb stops. So love that. Cable slide, roller cable slide. It means these cables aren't moving backwards and forwards so you get less noise, less vibration, love that. This cable slide is also adjustable moving in or out. I don't tend to adjust it, but you can for tuning, right? So I like that. Um, lots of the bows have um, roller cable slides, but they don't have tunability on them. So um, string stop. It's got a little doofer down here, a little stabilizer thing. So you could put your stabilizer here and move this to there. So two stabilizer positions and a rear position at the back here, which is good because it's got a bushing on the back, which is nice. It means you're not going to chip your paint when you're screwing your um, stabilizers to the back here. So that's really good. The Elite Paint um, is different to others. This is, I'm going to say this looks like a black. It's like a powder coated, a little bit rough uh, finish, not a smooth finish. It feels thick, the paint. Um, I assume this comes in all the colors that Elites come in and I'm just checking here the little brochure There's all the color it comes in the Elite the Elite uh, paint work and the Elite finish is different to other bows It's a, a Somehow they push the paint or something into the riser It's a different finish and very rare to get a scratch or marking on the riser either in camo or in the colored it's a very very tough finish and people are going to say well is it better than anodizing i don't know it's very very good it's very strong very rare to get chips you don't get fading like you do with other bow companies it's a very good system and i'm sounding like a salesperson here and i'm really just telling you the way it is it's a better finish it's a better product however this this paintwork here the black feels what you'd expect on a hoyt feels very much like a hoyt I think a Bowtech is smooth um, in the black, PSE is smooth in the black, I think. It's hard to know because I've changed it a couple of times. Um, two holes here, that's good, so you can lock your RRS in twice. Two sight positions here, so you can change your position of your sight, that's good. Uh, bow quiver here, which is a bit weird because um, Elite no longer have a two-piece bow quiver. However, you can fit a tight spot two-piece quiver in here, or another brand like Bear in here. I think it'd be better if um, Elite made a two-piece quiver for their bows so it matches colour. And they used to, they just stopped doing it maybe because the Americans don't like it. These little things here are for the limb stop. So when you put the little stop in here, it when you rotate the cam, it comes around and hits the wheel. So as the cam's rotating this way, it's going to come and hit that. Look, that's pretty good. Uh, limb dampeners, look, the balance of the bow is perfect and that's what you expect from elite they're all the same the grip feels like an elite grip um, which means it's sort of tapered in so it kind of looks like that to put your hand in so it feels comfortable um, you'll see this little bit here is jutted up um, this is comfortable for your finger to sit in because your hand should be like this and it's sort of jutted up some jut across here and that's not comfortable the elite grips very very comfortable to put your hand in the right position like so. Um, the grip feels a little bit narrower than the Verdict um, and the other Elite bows which is perfect. The grip feels better than the Ember. It feels like your, it feels like your expensive Elite bows but a little bit thinner. Okay, So rounded here, moving up here, a little bit thinner here so your hand kind of juts in nice. 
I think it's one of the nicest grips in the market, the Elite Grips. Um, comparing to the other companies, Bowtech's got an adjustable grip, Hoyt's got an adjustable grip on, on some of their bows. Um, Matthews, well, you're going to take that grip off anyway. Um, and PSE is doing different things with grips at the moment. They've had some rubber grips and they had, now they've got some grips they build up. But this is just, it's a nice, comfortable grip. And I know some reviewers say, well, the Bowtech or Hoyt's better because it's adjustable. I find this quite comfortable. So, I don't know. Um, so just on adjustability, um, in the shop we had a conversation. Which bow is the most adjustable? Um in the marketplace so the only two bows i'm going to say the only two bows i'm going to justify that worth having this arguing point over is bowtech and elite right so bowtech and elite both have the ability to tune the bow without using a bow press okay no other bow has that pse has a shim system where you use a bow trap bow bow press and you fit the shims in the hoyt and matthews you've got to rip apart the bows okay so so then you've got the thing, well, which bow is more adjustable, Elite or Bowtech? This has got adjustable to change your lead off. You can kind of do that on, on a Bowtech. You've got the draw length is more adjustable in Elite than a Bowtech by, I think Bowtech's in half inches. Um, so this is smaller increments on the Elite. Um, the Elite has... Uh, cable stop and a limb stop the Bowtech doesn't have a limb stop I think this is adjustable on a lead it's not adjustable on a Bowtech Bowtech just ha does have an adjustable grip okay now Bowtech also has a module that you can flip from performance to soft with the elite modules you have to buy it so elite has a performance module it has a 75% module and it has a smooth module changing the entire way the bow feels I think and I'm not taking anything away from Bowtech um, I think the Elite is the most adjustable and tunable bow on the market and I'm not taking it away from Bowtech I just think it's got more features um, and it's and I do I do note that the Bowtech has got the adjustable grip which Elite doesn't have right that for me it's like which bow is the most adjustable so I think it's very similar between Elite and Bowtech. They're both very, very adjustable bows, both very good bows. Um, and I'm not taking, if you're not interested in adjustability and tunability, well then buy a Matthews. Okay, I'm not having to go at Matthews. It's just with Matthews, you have to buy modules to change draw length, you have to buy modules to change let off. You've got to rip apart the bow to tune it. It's So if you're not worried about that stuff and you're just going to shoot the bow and not change the way it feels, well, Matthews and Hoyt is obviously the way to go. PSE is a kind of a bio bit in between. I think I feel like Elite and Bowtech have gone, look, we're going to give you everything. We're going to give you all the tunability, all the adjustability. Um, and they're really leading the way at the moment. As it happens for me, I sell all the brand bows in my shop. I sell every brand bow. There's no exception to, the, to, to that that I can think of. The two top selling bows are Elite and Bowtech and I don't know if that's because it's me going look these two bows are really adjustable and tunable but I do have a whole bunch of staff and they can sell whatever they like um, but a lot of our sales are on the internet as well so and a lot of them are to shops um, and it's not to say that the PSE bows don't sell well um, but my current two best selling bows are Bowtech and Elite um, PSE is not far off um, so, so that's the thing. The axles here are thick. That's good because it stops the cams bending and stops keeps the limbs square. In some bows where you've got thinner axles, um, you'll get some of these the limbs looking like they're angled. Um, right. Um, I can't tell you if these cams are identical. I can tell you I was tuning a bow the other day and I suddenly realized the result from Elite, the cams are not identical, they're different sizes for top and bottom and I was like, oh, I can't believe I didn't pick that up on my reviews previously. Um, but the reason why they make cams different sizes is because of the center of the knocking point. You're not drawing back at the center of the knocking point. So, um, 
but I like this. I like the feel of it. I like this card. Um, I haven't shot it yet. So let off. This comes with a 90% let off. Look, the smooth module is going to be smoother and nicer for you. So I would think about that. Um, I would think about smooth mods. I've fitted the smooth mods to my bows. And people are going to say, what's the smooth mod like? It's It makes the bow feel really smooth to draw back. It doesn't dump into the valley and some people say well it feels like a result if you've shot a result before and I'm like okay uh, <laughs> I don't know and yes I've shot a result and I've shot lots of other bows but it just makes the bow very smooth to draw and you can't feel the lump and I didn't really have much problem with the lump although I don't want 90% load off so if you're a lady shooting 40 pound and 90% let off you're getting back in and you're holding four pounds that's really hard to shoot four pounds holding weight back here so i'd much prefer you be a lady who shoots 40 pounds and your holding weight is you know in the tens to twelves which is why i'd be looking at the smooth modules or the 75 percent modules but i understand why you do this um just for accuracy i'd prefer that you're holding a bit more weight back and holding back 10 pounds or 12 pounds is not going to hurt your muscles um, and it's not going to fatigue you so you know I think you'll have improved improved accuracy with a greater holding weight so that's the allure look I think it competes well in the marketplace now just saying that I have customers that come in and say look if you had a top of the line ladies bow I would buy it so I bring the Eva Shockey bow in and then no one buys it um, it's it's a very hard thing for a shop because if you don't have it, people are going to ask for it. And if you have it, you're probably never going to sell it. Okay. Because that, because your marketplace with these types of bows for hunting bows. And when I say hunting bows, can you shoot, shoot it for target? Absolutely. But this is primarily a hunting bow with a six inch brace height, six and a quarter inch brace height. Um, most of your hunters are going to be men okay so but there's very few bows on the market targeted for this marketplace so if you are a guy looking for a lightweight bow so you're in you know a shorter axle axle bow shorter draw length bow this should be on the top of your list to check out because there's not many to choose from there's just not that many bows on the marketplace to check out to go, oh, that's one I should check out. Now, there's, I'm going to say I probably forgot because I get, it's kind of confusing for me because Elite produced their bows in three cams. So maybe the Fortis and maybe there's a cam there that has a short draw length, but the bow is physically heavier than this. So I did look at it. Um, but I do forget about the shorter draw length um, in the PSE Fortis, um, whether it's available or not available, but the bow's physically heavier. Um, and for most ladies, they're going to want a bow four pounds or under. So, and the other option's carbon bows, and they're going to be more expensive. So, anyway, that's the Elite Allure. It's a kind of interesting. For me, it's an interesting choice of Elite because it's like you brought out three bows. And I haven't looked at the third bow yet. Um, the first one makes complete sense because I'm like 33 inches. This one's a specific lady, you know, specific ladies bow. I'm targeted at ladies, targeted at the short draw lengths. And I think it's kind of hit a niche in the marketplace. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this bow sells. Now I'm going to sort of set up and have a couple of shots with it and sort of see see what I think of it but the machining is all nice there's it's it looks perfect and pretty much I haven't seen an elite which where the bow doesn't look perfect so the machine is always excellent the paintwork is always excellent it's a very well put together bow the strings on elite are winner's choice look they're pretty good and when I say pretty good I wouldn't be changing them lots of shops are going to say well fit a custom set of strings to it I wouldn't I would be shooting the strings that come with it. I think they're perfectly functional and I think they're perfectly good. Uh, Winner's Choice has been on the market forever. Um, and I'm gonna say, it used to be one of the leading string manufacturers in the custom string world and there's a whole bunch of others now. And I'm gonna say, Gas is the one you, that I think of. Um, 
when it comes to strings but if it was me the only reason I'd be pulling the strings off of these if would be if I had if I brought a colored bow and I want colored strings put on it just to make it look pretty um, and then you just grab your custom strings and fit those so but overall I think elites hit a nice marketplace I don't know how well how well it will sell um, poundage comes in 40 50 and 60 um, so that's perfect I'm going to guess it's got 10 pounds of weight adjustment. It's got limb locking on the limbs, metal limb pockets. So limb locking just there, same as all your other elites. So basically, it's like your big elites, but all cut down. And I think it's a pretty good thing. Anyway, I'm Stephen Ham from Archery Supplies. Thanks for watching.